Okay, so just a short recap, yeah? I know we had a few videos about electronics, but if you think, we did electronics only on the videos. Actually, Diana has like a few hours of doing electronics or learning electronics. So, uh, uh, you know, I'm happy we had knowledge. How do you feel? Feel good. Yeah? Yeah, I'm ready for what is next. That's fantastic. So what is next is very important. Like every other... Uh... Every other lesson, <laughs> yes. All the lessons are so important. Yeah. I mean, if you get the basics, if you understand the basics, then everything what is next, it's easy. Because you have the basics. The all the electronics is based on the ohm law. Good. Basic. Basic it sounds so complicated. It's the ohm law. You, you, it's just, you know, voltage, current, and resistance. Yeah. That's all. Easy. Easy. Yeah. It's like making an omelet. <laughs> you put oil or egg and... Uh, yeah, that's all. Yeah, that's, that's all salt. what it's all electronic about. Yes. <laughs> now, I replace, here, I replace the light bulb with the LED. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. That's mean, indeed, the current it will be lower, right? It's a LED, it's not a light bulb. Yeah. So let's just test to be sure. Working, right? Mm -hmm. And you can see the current is like, what, 140 milliamps? Yeah. Yeah, good. But still, even if you lower the, the load or the light bulb current, you didn't solve the problem. I mean, as soon as you adjust this, you start losing current on the transistor. Yeah. Okay. So, what they thought? They thought, okay, let's take this out, the base of the transistor, yeah? Okay. If you are taking the base of the transistor out, the LED is off, right? Yeah. And they thought, okay, let's touch this quickly so we can achieve some, uh, like, a medium... Uh, you're not touching it. Yeah, I do. Now you're touching. They said, okay, let's make this transistor either on or off. And you can see on the current, the current goes down, you can see? Yeah. You can see the current is, uh, is lower. Mm -hmm. But still, the light is flashing. So it's not really what we are looking for. Right? Okay. okay. And they... Uh, Thing, okay, let's add a capacitor to smooth the output voltage. Okay. Okay, so basically what we have here, it's a switch, which is me touching with the wire, right, to the plus. Yeah. And uh, we added a capacitor from here. To here. Yeah. Okay, so the capacitor is connected to plus and the output of the collector, which is, yeah? Mm -hmm. We have here the capacitor. Now let's try again. Let's try again. So basically, you can see the current go lower. Yeah, but the light is not going like off. Can goes off. Look, if if I if I touch short. Yeah, but it it's not going off instantly. Exactly, that's because of the smoothing capacitor. Yeah. So if I can precisely control those clicks, the on and off, I can end up. And if I raise the frequency, if I touch very very quickly, mm -hmm. very short, I can achieve like. Uh, the output light to be whatever I want. Now I'm touching, look like this is half, half, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is like what? Like one hertz, right? Yeah. One times per second. Yeah. Okay, let's draw that, let's draw it. So uh, we have the scale, yeah, with zero volts. Zero volts here, yeah, the mm -hmm. scale. So uh, I'm touching, and it's rising to what? 
I'm touching to plus. You have 12, 12 volts, right? Mm -hmm. I keep in, I keep this touch for a while, then I disconnect the wire and I take a break. Yeah. Then I start again and keep and it keep in touch. Then I'm powering off and I take a break. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Good. So in this way, the transistor is either on or off. Yeah. So it's not like in the middle. We don't have like uh, variable internal resistance. We have either on or off. Now, this is called PWM. PWM? Yeah, PWM signal. So one more time, the wave is starting from here. Yeah. Just to remind, remember from the AC. Mm -hmm. Remember the AC? Yeah. Okay, so it's starting from here to here. This is a wave light. A full scene. It's a full scene. Okay. So this is one, and then you have the second, which is the same from here. To the next one. Yeah. So this one, the time, which is the time of a full, full cycle on and off. What is the time? What is the time? About one second. One second. One yeah. second, exactly. One second. One second means one hertz. Right? Mm -hmm. Like the frequency of touching. Yeah. Yeah? One hertz. Now, you see, this is like in a slow motion. I'm touching like one time per second. Boy, oh boy, if I'm touching, not 300, 300,000 times per second. You're going to have uh, 3,000 hertz, 1,000 hertz. Yeah. That's mean you can't even see the light it goes off flashing. flashing. Yeah? Yeah. So how we can adjust the light to lower the, to lower the brightness, yeah, to lower the output? How we can do it? To lower the brightness. Yeah, so to lower the brightness, I have to touch less and take a longer break. Right? Mm -hmm. So the frequency has to be the same, like how I said, like a hundred times, a hundred thousand times per second. So it's not about the frequency because I don't want to see the, the LED flashing. Yeah. I want to lower the, 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 the brightness. That's mean I have to. Uh, like 100 milliseconds to touch and then 900 milliseconds to take a break. Hmm? I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking... I mean, it's logical, right? This is touching to 12 volts when I'm touching with a wire. Yeah. Yeah, so this is on. And this is off. Hmm? So I, I'm, I'm thinking, look what I'm thinking, yeah? We have the, we have the line here, mm -hmm. which is zero volts, okay? Yeah. So I'm thinking just a little bit of touch, then a very a long, long break. break. What yeah, do you think but, about this? Yeah, but in this case, you need a, um, a bigger capacitor. Why? Um... To charge the capacitor? Yes. Uh, no. No, the capacitor is... Ah, okay, because, uh, yeah, you said uh, it's, it's a longer break. Yes. You mean a bigger capacitor? Yeah. But bigger capacitor, the problem is your, you, your charging time to charge that capacitor with the same amount of current Mm -hmm. is lower, so lower time to charge. Based on the, on this, you will have lower brightness. You will have low output, power output. So if you put bigger capacitor, you have to hold it long to charge. The bigger capacitor it don't help you. It can be small or bigger. Yeah. Nothing it will change. 
the capacitor can help you if you change the frequency. If I touch like now, I touch one times per second. If I will use 10 capacitors like this, I will get a smoother, uh, you know, uh, light or output. Mm -hmm. So we are not speaking about the frequency. We are speaking about the time to charge that capacitor. Okay. Hmm. Or let's make it let's make it even different. So we have the zero line, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this it will be how long I will keep touch. And this it will be my break. So I'm not giving to that capacitor too much time to charge it with too much voltage, right? Okay, so, so you you will charge just a bit. Just a bit. So, so no, no, not fully charge. Fully is 12 volts, right? It, yes. So I'll not charge fully. I will charge probably like 6 volts because six. it's just a short pulse. Yeah. Yeah, but that, that longer break, yeah. it will not switch off. Not because of the frequency. Again, it's about the frequency. When you are touching and taking breaks a hundred thousand times per second, you know what I mean? It's different yeah. compared with what we see now touching uh, with one times per second. Yeah. So basically, the higher you go on the frequency, Let's say I'm going from 100,000 times to 300,000 times. The smaller you need the capacitor because the capacitor will not get charged anyway. It will get charged just a little bit. Okay. So you understand? It's not even point having a bigger capacitor if your uh, touching frequency is higher. So you need the... It's making no smaller, point. Smaller one. Yeah. I mean, it's waste. You can use it, but it's waste. It, it, it will not get charged. Yeah. So you understand? Yeah. You sure you understand? Just tell me what you don't understand. No, I, I do understand. Okay, now let's make another, uh, another case. What about if this is my touching time and this is my break time? That means the voltage the, on the capacitor, it, it will be, be higher. Maximum. Probably it will be like maximum. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because the break time is short. Short. Yeah. So that's how you change the brightness on a LED using only on and off signal to the base. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. This is called duty cycle. You see this one? So the difference between this one and this one, actually this is the duty cycle. And it's, it's in percentage. Like here we have like 50% duty cycle. I mean, 50% meaning half of the time it's on, half of the time it's off. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. But I don't want to, you know, to confuse with these terms. I just want to know about them. I can't see how this can be helpful for us as uh, we are learning repairs. We are not designers. Mm -hmm. But I just want, wanted to know it, okay. how it's called. Now, this is called PWM. Yeah, what is PWM? PWM is called Pulse with Modulation. Pulse with Modulation. Yeah. Okay. But again, it's not very important. Okay. You know how I call it? Mm. Switching. Basically, that's how a switching power supply is working. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So how hard can be to understand something like that? It's not. It's not hard. So it's all about the on and off. That's all about. Yeah. 
So all what we need here on our schematic, if we have a PWM uh, generator or we have a circuit to generate uh, this on and off, mm -hmm. and also high, high, higher frequency, or we, if we can adjust the frequency, and actually if we can adjust this, then we can change the LED brightness. That's our switching power. So this is a switching uh, system. Yeah. But you understand from where the efficiency is coming. From that uh, on and off. Yeah, from the fact your transistor can be only on and only off, oh. and it's not really losing that much current. Yeah. That's why on those days, all the electronics, they are using switching power supplies because of the efficiency. No, because you don't want them, you want them on or off? I'm not or a off. fan, I'm not a fan of, no? of, of switching power supplies, but you know, it's more efficient. I, I have to admit that it's more efficient. Now, have in mind, no matter how many capacitors you will have here, yeah, mm -hmm. you probably you can't see actually those pulses, yeah? You probably can't see the switching, yeah. but the switching is still there. And it's called ripple noise. That's how it's called. A ripple noise? So if you check with uh, any, any switching power supply, if you check with an oscilloscope, you still see small spikes. That's cool. Mm? It is, right? Yeah, cool. Okay.